Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of the Dog Island. When we last left off, we had just uh, helped Boris uh, with the map stone uh, get a sense of direction. And now, he'll be able to take us anywhere we want to go. So, we're going to head back to uh, Zumi Village because there is a dog that uh, needs some help in the Hoya Plains. Now, you notice I've changed out uh, all my accessories. And that's because I wanted to basically have a an empty inventory so that I can buy some uh, these uh, hats and stuff that I need so also uh, off screen I went out and I filled up my inventory twice so that I could uh, sell some food and flowers to the uh, respective dealers so that uh, I had enough woofs to buy uh, most of the stuff that I need I still need to buy that black tulip hat but I just don't have enough room for it so but Changed a few things out, so put the little bracelet on uh, Buddy's uh, left paw there, and here's where the circle glasses, because we'll eventually need them for uh, probably keep them in my inventory uh, until I can actually get some colored glass to make those sunglasses. So let's head out to the Hoya Plains. We were told that uh, some dog was being uh, assaulted by bees. Well, we ran into this dog earlier. Uh, just looking at the bees, the bees weren't attacking her, but they were around her, so here she is. Let's go see if we can lend a paw. You, you must help me. These pesky bees are blocking my path to the desert. You, you shall bring me a lotus flower to draw the bees away. The lotus flower smells like this. Oh, she seems very, very bossy. Even says it there, we were forced to learn the smell of the lotus flower. Now to get the lotus flower, we're gonna have to do like a little mini quest. So, uh, the lotus flower is uh, on one of these uh, plateaus. This one right here that we're standing in front of. But the gap is too big to cross. But if we search this uh, tree stump, maybe this place is where this elephant eats. Don't you think? So, let's uh, sniff the uh, tree stump and much like the hippos in Zumi Lake we're gonna learn what this elephant looks uh, likes to eat and then we're going to uh, have to sniff out that food and then uh, we can use him to uh, hop across the gap so now the elephant food is back toward the uh, entrance to these plains it's gonna be behind this snake here usually they tend to like to put some items sometimes around enemies, so. But now we got some elephant food, which is just like a nice red apple. Red Delicious, maybe? Macintosh? I don't know. I like Red Delicious apples. Alright, so we place the apple here. It's gonna draw the elephant over. And then, much like the hippos in uh, Zumi Lake, we will use the elephant to cross the gap and get to the lotus flower. Mm-hmm. Look at Buddy, he's so proud of his work. And there we have our pathway across to that uh, area up there. So, well, let's get that lotus flower and give it back to that bossy dog. So we're gonna head up around here toward where the, the pier is at. And we can just jump across, boing boing, and let's sniff around. Ooh, we got another uh, new scent. Ooh, we missed a food item. Let's dig up this lotus flower. And we can hop down off this uh, platform, and it looks like the scent is uh, over here, uh, off the platform. So we're gonna have to jump down and get in that little alleyway, I guess you could call it. That little crevice between uh, the raised mound here. So pop off, and uh, we'll go back searching in there, so. What food could we be missing? Well, let's find out. Here we go, let's dig it up, what do we got? Ooh, we got a kiwi, all right. So now let's uh, head over and give this lotus flower to this uh, dog, and. Hey lady, how you doing? Somebody help! Uh-oh, the bees are chasing her. 
Uh-oh. -uh. Bring me a lotus flower. I can use it to get rid of the bees. What are you waiting for? Place the lotus flower on that tree stump. All right, let's place the flower on the tree stump and see what happens. And the bees will eventually leave the doggy alone. Christina. She's actually a chihuahua, a fawn-colored chihuahua, which is um, like my dog Spartacus. So. Mm -hmm. Spartacus can be bossy like her, too. He's like, Dad, I want to jump on your lap. Dad, I want you to pet me. Dad, I want treats. You've done well. I decided my trip to the desert shall be postponed. Hmm, is there a problem? You, take me to Noble. He should be expecting me. Oh, poor buddy. Well, I guess you gotta help out. You gotta be a sniff master. Wait here. So now we're gonna finally get access into this room that Noble wouldn't let us in earlier. You may come before me. And what is in this room? You have saved me from danger and also guided me here. I am grateful for your kindness. Hey, she's wearing like a crown and a necklace. I shall have you know that I truly admire bugs and fish. I am here to see all the bugs and fish on this island. If I did not have to become a princess, I would become a biologist. If I did not have to be a princess, I would become a biologist. But since I have to be a princess, I cannot be seen outside looking at bugs and fish. And so I have decided to summon some collectors. That way I can stay at home and still collect many bugs and fish. When they arrive, I will let you know. You have my permission to bring any bugs and fish that you might catch to them. There are dogs in this village who require help. You are to help them. Is that understood? We don't need a princess to tell us that. That's part of our duty to become a sniff master. Oh, buddy, just the one I wanted to see. I summoned the collectors I told you about earlier. I shall introduce you to Dougal. Dougal is a fish collector. I let her handle my collection. Should you ever happen to catch a rare fish, you should talk to Dougal. And she's going to be on that uh, thing with the fish, the map with the fish. Hello, Dougal is my name. I'm a fish collector. Is this your first time? You know what we do? Yeah, we talked with the food and the flower collector. And uh, we're off screen eventually, uh, given all the fish. The, the only fish we don't want to give, uh, we want to keep one black bass for a later subquest. So. We have a lot of dogs to help out here. Now, the way we help these dogs out, it's kind of, uh, there's multiple dogs we can help out. A princess is coming to stay at my master's mansion. There is no other house suitable for her. Yes. My master's mansion is the only one. Where's Peter? Uh-oh. What do you need help with Peter? Huh. Hmm? I just can't stop thinking about her. Amalia again? Ah, Amalia, your eyes shine like diamonds. Ah, Amalia, Amalia, Amalia. Oh, Amalia. We're right. He did have a crush on her. Uh... going on okay I admit it I really like Amalia you got a problem with that nope not at all but I just can't tell her about how I feel about her I get so tense just talking to her okay so I'm a chicken I wish I was more romantic if only I had a romantic drop they say it makes dogs romantic hey would you mind getting one for me where do I find it they say you can find one in the south sandy desert will you get one for me Please, pretty please. Okay, we'll do it. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm, the romantic drop smells like this. All right, yeah, the, I was gonna say, my future is in your hands. No, I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say that right now we have a whole bunch of quests we can do. We can do them in a uh, separate order. Uh, but we'll just be, uh, I guess talking with uh, a bunch of uh, dogs, but you can do these in a bunch of different orders. We have uh, Peter's quest here. We're gonna have a quest with Amalia. There's gonna be another quest with Francis. There's gonna be a quest where we can uh, challenge some more uh, of the victory dogs to get their badges. So it kind of opens up a little bit here. 
but we're not really gonna do any quests right now, but we're just going to start on the quests. We won't finish them though. Oh, come on, would you get your act together? Why don't you act your age and go out and find some work? You lazy old good for nothing. Don't be talking to Alex like that. What do you mean by act my age? That's, that's age discrimination. You know, a wise man once said, you're only as old as you feel. And I am good at some things. I shall have you know. Yeah, he helped us with uh, Boris. For example, I have my mind. It helps me create riddles into dream. You have to dream a little. It makes life more fun, you know. Oh, dream on. You need to get out of your butt and get out of the house. Get out and talk to others and work. Life is more than just your house. Maybe that'll help make your life even more fun. So you're saying I need more variety in my life. Of course, variety is important. But listen, if you say variety, I am a perfect example of variety. I am the variety. And I'm part of the variety. Actually, oh, shut up. Hold on now. You started this and now you want me to shut up? You aren't a very good conversationalist, are you? These two don't like each other. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do everything I can to pull you away from that book. Well then, try your best. But the pen is mightier than the sword. And the big brother is mightier than the little sister. <gasps> They're related. I wish you luck. True freedom is when you can do as you wish. And I choose to read as much as I can at home. Uh-oh. I can't believe him. Oh, hi, buddy. Were you watching? I'm so embarrassed. Hey, here's an idea. Can you help me out? I want to find a way to get my brother out, of, out from the house. Because he reads his books all day long and he never comes out of the house. It's not healthy and it's not good for him. Will you help? Absolutely. Just another dog to help. You're in trouble now, mister. I brought someone to help me today. You should know what's Alex. What? A helper? So now you use others to pressure me. Diplomacy at home, I see. I do not bow down to diplomatic pressures easily. But I must admit that I'm impressed with your efforts. A little, that is. Okay then. I am willing to come to the negotiation table. If you want to pull me out from here, you must answer my riddles. If you win, I will promise you that I will look into freeing myself from here. Are you ready? Here comes the riddle. It gets shorter as the clock hand moves forward. It wears a white dress and has a burning head. What is it? Bring me the answer. Well, the answer is a candle. Candles are white. They have a burning head because you light it on fire. And as it burns, it gets shorter. We just have to find a candle. If you want me to pull out of the house, you must answer my riddles. Are you ready? And he repeats the riddle. And if we're having trouble, he will actually uh, give us the opportunity to have a hint. So, but we're not going to use the hint, but we'll still talk with him. Would you like a hint? Ah, uh, nah, we, I think we can solve this one on our own. So, oh, you're just like my sister. You don't give up, do you? Nope. Well, let's uh, go on. Uh, we're going to talk with her, uh, um, Malia then. But let's get rid of some of our items here. Welcome. What can I do for you today? Let's make some new products. We can combine uh, those ribbons that we got and make some new ribbons. So we make a drop ribbon A set and a drop ribbon B set. Woohoo! And that's all, unfortunately, we can do for now. But, um, it's okay. So, I'm gonna have to get uh, some more different type of clothes from 
other areas. We also still gotta get some more uh, clothes. We still have to get uh, two black uh, drop tulip hats uh, from Zumi Lake. One of them is going to be used in uh, just for keeping, and then the other one is going to be used for uh, combining. So let's turn in this uh, kiwi that we picked up uh, back at the uh, Hoya Plains. There we go. Alrighty. And let's head on out and let's, uh, there's another dog here that we can get a quest to, uh, to help out, so. But let's go, uh, talk with, uh, Amalia. Go back to her house, here it is. Hey, Amalia, what's cooking? Maybe Patricia wouldn't know where to find one. Patricia is another dog. Uh, she's uh, in the house on the right going toward uh, Dr. Potent's clinic. So if we go over there, that house right ahead of us here. But we want to, uh, there's a, there's Dorothy's house. That's a the wrong house. But uh, you know, I was looking for uh, Patricia's house. But uh, I didn't see it until after. But that's okay, because we wanted to come into the center anyway here to trigger another cutscene. Uh-oh, it's Frances again. She's getting tomatoes thrown at her. Did the brave fruit run out? Uh-oh, she's passing out again at the side of the red. Buddy Beagle to the rescue once again. Rough, rough. Tassie's there to back him up, but... Of course, the other dogs can't see Patassi. His only buddy is blessed with that gift. But buddy's more than enough to scare them dogs away. What's troubling you, Francis? Hmm? Not you again. Oh. What? Oh no, not again. Hey, hey, you are your buddy. You saved me again. I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. Would you like to hear my story? Sure. Well, I'll tell it to you anyways. What's your story, Francis? Let it out. Hey, I know that look on your face. You're thinking, not this again. I know. I'd feel the same if I were you. But it's those pesky, pesky victory gang. Actually, I was fine with any red stuff, and even with the real blood too, when I had the brave fruit. The one you gave me, that is. But when the effects of, when the effect of the brave fruit wore out, I couldn't handle them anymore. It seems my phobia got even worse. And those victory gangs somehow found out. So they started to pick on me again. I can't continue being like this because I'm a nurse. Please, I beg you for your help. Of course we're gonna help you. Not a problem. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I think I know the cause of this phobia. It was back when I was a child. There was this incident. Well, tell us about it. Oh, I'll explain it to you. It was a long time ago. I had a best friend and I was still a little puppy. One day we were playing like we always did and then we started to fight over something really silly. At first it was just a discussion, but it eventually became very ugly. We ended up hitting and biting each other. And we wrestled around. We wrestled around hard till... Till what? I... I... Her. I think I may have hurt her badly. Oh, I shouldn't have brought this up. I remember I shoved her and she fell to the ground. And she never came back up. She was wounded and bleeding. I got very scared and I left her. I ran away. During the next two days, I was too scared to go to her house to meet her. After a while, somehow I mustered up enough courage and went to her house, you know, to apologize. But her family had just moved away. And that's why I think I may have hurt her badly that day. I killed Elaine. Hoda family moved out to live in Zumi Village. I'm sure they moved out because they wanted to be away from the sad memories of losing their daughter. 
Well, why else would they want to move, right? So please, please go to Zumi Village and let me know if Elaine is still alive and well. I need to know the truth, and I must make up for my sins. All right, we can do that. So, doesn't sound too hard. But, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do it in this episode. But next episode is going to be chock full of uh, helping out doggies. So we got to turn in all those fish to the fish collector Dougal. Save that one black bass, though, for a future quest. And then we're going to help uh, Amalia bring Alex out of his house. Solve his riddle. help, And then help Francis uh, see if uh, Elaine is okay. Thanks for following along. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.